Yes, yes, and keep it going from Marcus. He was good, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Marcus, there's a, uh, there's a mozzarella stick over there in that basket. Go eat it and fill up, would you? It's at the bar. Get him the mozzarella stick. I like Marcus. Earlier he was teaching me how to do something called cocaine. He never would have shared it if he knew. Was that a professional? I, we need to take out a collection for him as well, I think. <laughs> and, and the CD release party is tomorrow? Yes, sir. Oh, I wish I could be here. I'm going to be at a massage parlor getting a release of my own. <laughs> I have a record company. I do. It's called Stand Up Records. Yes, it's some Stand Up Records is going to produce my album in about a year or three or four. Someday, when I'm ready. I know what you're all thinking. Keep saying, hey, who keeps letting all these goddamn illegals into the country? Yeah, well, here's my green card right here, bitches. Yeah, this is the EZ-1040 dispersal armament pistol loaded with a deadly neurotoxin. Tap water from North Las Vegas. It has three settings, black, Latino, and Asian. It's just like the one Ferguson police are using. They call it a ghetto blaster. <laughs> oh, someone accused me of being racist? No. No, I'm just from another world. Of course I'm racist, humans. Oh, look at this, one male and two females. You are indeed a warrior, my friend. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Uh, don't put me in that spot. Coward. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, very good. When I was in Los Angeles, someone yelled, Hey, it's a monster. We need to do a virgin sacrifice. Oh, that's ridiculous. There are no virgins in Los Angeles. <laughs> well, not until Comic-Con pulls in anyway. Where are the nerds at? Geeks, where are you? Those are my people, yes. Yes, I get to host Comic-Cons all across the country. I'm hosting Laredo Comic-Con next week. Yeah. By the way, TSA is not getting this one. They've gotten every one since, fuckers. I hate TSA. Who gave those people a badge anyway? You did. Marcus did. Of course you did. He's, Marcus travels with a suitcase full of... What's in there? It's a beatbox suitcase. Anyone ever go through your suitcase, Marcus? More times than one. More times. Excellent. That's not a metaphor. He really has a suitcase. I know, humans. I know. No, I was, uh, actually, the last Comic-Con I did, I had Peter Mayhew in the room next to me at the hotel. He, he played Chewbacca. You could hear him snoring through the walls. He's a big man. <laughs> All night long. I know, humans. Forgive me, by the way, I've made a few cultural errors since I got to Earth. Today I tried out that public bidet out in front of the Bellagio. 280,000 PSI. It hurt. I'm going back. I just toured through Utah. I want to warn you all, any comedian friends here tonight, if you go through Utah, do not travel with a black comedian in your car. I went with Jeff Grant. We got pulled over every 10 minutes. Yeah, Jeff is a smart ass. He said to the officer, help, this alien just abducted me. He's going to give me an anal probe. I said, yes, it's a digital. <laughs> yeah, the officer got mad. He looked down at me and said, hey, there's an abandoned shack three miles outside of town. Take him there. <laughs> we found the shack. <laughs> we did indeed, my friends. You have problems here on Earth, don't you? I'm here to help. That's why I'm here. Look, here's my solution for homelessness and hunger. Feed the homeless to the hungry. <laughs> you can feed a small child in Africa for nothing. The homeless here live in cardboard boxes. They're ready to ship. That's an MRE, man ready to eat. Today I saw a man on the side of the road with a sign that said, we'll work for food. I said, you'll work perfectly. Get in the box. <laughs> How do we mail this? Food stamps. 
Here, here's some bath salts for seasoning, too. Send him away. Look, the old white couple is not laughing. Did you two get lost? Your son is here tonight. No. Oh, what kind of work do you do, my friend? Retired. Well, what were you doing when there was blood coursing through your veins? You worked for Shell? Who's Shell? Where is she? Oh, hi, Shell. I knew it. I liked the girl from 1940. I thought I was the only time traveler here. Although my time machine is seven days fast, I wasn't supposed to be here till last week. Yeah. I know, I know, that line was funnier tomorrow. When I la first landed here, I landed in Asia. I spent three years taking Japanese. Perhaps one day I will release them. Or not, you can use them as lighting. I saw the new Godzilla movie, by the way. You all see that? Yeah, I like Godzilla. You know why? Because he's a big killer lizard like me. Yes, I'm a reptilian. You're all primates. I'm a preptilian, if you will. But yeah. Although I don't care for the women on my world. I like Earth women. I have to admit it, Earth women are per aren't they? No. You don't want to have sex with reptile women. I have reptile dysfunction. I don't want it. You keep them. But I did try to meet an earth woman. Have you all heard of Match.com? Yeah, I didn't use Match, I used Christian Mingle. They took my profile down, bastards. And they told me to use Craigslist. I did pretty well on Craigslist, actually. The women on there are freaks, like me. Yes, Craigslist. Actually, I did like Match.com. The women on there are time travelers, too. By the time you meet them, they're nearly 15 years older than their picture. <laughs> yes. Anybody here have a stalker? I had a robot stalker once. Damn it, I forgot my punchline. <laughs> I'll disappoint you worse. Come see me at, uh, oh, where's my next show? Oh, yes, the, the Comic-Con. And also, I'll be at the Seattle Comedy Festival the end of the month, so or November actually, competing for the entire week. Do me a favor, tell your local comedy clubs you want the alien warrior comedian. Thank you very much, humans. <laughs>